The stakes get higher each passing week. And we are now into round five of the 2019 varsity football season. There's virtually no room for error as the University of the Western Cape square up to the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Those two men are in the box now as UWC get on the offensive once again. Good cross in, De Sousa produces a wonderful save and then Peterson is denied on the follow-up. Well, De Sousa forced an absolutely sublime save out of Banele Kubeka from practically point-blank range. And good to see that uh, there's some versatility in this UWC setup. Now steaming up fields, but not able to put in an effective ball. This is De Sousa. Shifts it and hits the side netting. Decent effort with his left. De Sousa has been a thorn in the UK defense. He's been popping up in the right areas. A cross once again from Steelman on the right hand side. And De Sousa faking to his right and going to these weaker foot, the left foot. But what a quality ball that he put the laces on the ball. Nice ball out wide as Peterson again tries to. Uh, Use his first touch to create a little bit of space. That time it's heavy and easily dealt with in the end, to be honest. The ball going wide, a quality cross again, but Peterson couldn't control it. Once he must just stop putting himself under pressure. Yes, to Sousa! And having threatened earlier, he comes up trumps this time. Powerful in the air. De Sousa is the man to break the deadlock. De Sousa. The way it looked around is that the coach gave him a free roll because you find him on the right hand side, middle on the left hand side, and once again, that time expecting a quality ball from the right hand side. What I've noticed with UWC is that they noticed that the left back of UK is a 10. So many spaces emerging. Good block tackle. Well, I have to say that's a rather unbelievable decision considering that uh, the player came away with the ball very cleanly, but Christopher Kistua is convinced. It's Luke Fester, the man who's stepped in. This to draw level, and Leek does brilliantly deny Sintlengetwa. It's a fantastic save from the youngster and the fans understandably pleased with that. Oh, that's lovely play. And surely they can put a second home, and they do. It's Jaden Peterson with an unerring finish. And could this spell the end for UK Zidane on the day and in the tournament? They've done well in those breaking, getting quicker to the third of UKZN. We've seen every time UKZN attacks and once Lee gets the ball or defense, they play a one-two quicker. That ball was played by Sibaremi for Peterson and with his pace, with his control much better, it made it all possible and he's just pushing it behind him. Kubega. Well taken and this is Zulu cuts it back. Oh, that was the chance. And they can barely believe it in the UK's it in dugouts. Here's Zulu, goes the unselfish route, and then steered over the bar. There's Maveni, clips it into space for Peterson. There's a tight angle, but he scored absolutely superbly that is sensational from peterson a beauty of a finish if you thought the first was good that has blown it out of the water absolutely brilliant goal from a brilliant team uh, performance today has been marvelous that ball started from the right back with sterling playing a one two with Maveli, and Maveli said that peterson one two again and then played it over the head of the defender and Peterson, the way he controlled it with his chest and put the right boot on it, far post of Kubega. And it's an emphatic victory. It's a, a statement of intent from UWs as they look to march towards the semi-finals. They are currently inside the top four with this 3-0 victory of a UK Zidane.